Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. Today we're gonna take a look at how to create this clean and simple looking logo reveal into After Effects which you guys have been asking me for quite a while now. So, so I finally thought of creating a tutorial on it just for you guys. So let's just get straight into it and I'll show you how to create this really simple thing. So first of all, I'm gonna create a new composition. So let's just keep it 1920 into 1080. Go ahead, okay. Then I'm gonna hit Control Y to create a new solid just for the BG. So we'll just give it, give it a smooth color and I'll name this BG for background. And okay. Then I'm gonna drag my logo. You can drag any logo that you have. And let's scale it down to maybe 50%. Okay, looking good. Then I'm gonna right click or yeah, right click. I'm gonna pre-compose it and just pre-compose this. Then I'm gonna go into that pre-composition layer or the pre-comp layer and create the animation that we want. So I'm gonna go to maybe around one second, hit P to bring down the position properties, click on the stopwatch, go to the beginning, not at the beginning, but give a room of five seconds. Oh, not five seconds, I mean five frames. And just bring this down, maybe out of the composition. There we go. Now you can see it looks pretty lame right now. So to give a little bit of cool motion to it, I'm gonna select the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease it. Then go to graph editor and create kind of a peak. That will give it a smooth motion, maybe something like that and should work good for now. And yep, it is looking pretty good. Then, what we need to do is we need to shrink the pre comp logo that we created to the size of the logo, right? You know, to shrink it down. So, to do that, I'm gonna go and go to comp settings and shrink it down to somewhere around maybe 500 by 500 should work. Or oh, let's go to maybe 400. And yep. That looks pretty good. Now we should have something like this, which you can see doesn't look that good for now. Then I'm going to duplicate this layer and make it 3D. Then I'm going to hit Alt, bring down the rotation properties and go to X rotation and turn this up to 180 degrees. There we go. And bring this down to somewhere around there. Maybe a little bit more down. Just be a little bit precise while doing this. Maybe this should look good. Maybe a bit down, just one frame. Or maybe a bit up, just one frame. Yep, so far looking good. You can just go into the comp and just give it a little bit of motion blur to it. And now what we need to do is we need to create this logo as our reflection. So to do that, I'm going to go and select my mask tool that is the rectangle tool and mask it up to something like there. Maybe a little bit up to somewhere around there. You don't need to worry about the upper part. That doesn't matter for now. Then I'm going to feather the mask to about 120 pixels. There we go. And turn down the opacity to maybe 60%. And yeah, I guess we are done. So let's just play it. And yep, it was that easy and that simple. So I hope this was helpful to you guys. And if it was, don't forget to subscribe, comment and like and I'll see you in my next video. Till then take care, thanks for watching and yeah one more thing I need to tell you guys if you have any queries regarding any tutorials or anything that you would like to share just let me know and I will try my best to answer you guys and yeah signing out thanks for watching guys.